Hi, I'm Max Dalton, and in this video, I'm going to talk through how to create a bootable USB Ubuntu installer in Windows. The Ubuntu operating system is lean. As a result, installing Ubuntu on an older computer can bring it back to life. If the computer you want to install Ubuntu on doesn't have a DVD-ROM drive where you can install the operating system from a disk, you can use the Rufus USB installer to take the ISO you download and use it to create a bootable USB Ubuntu installer. This video walks you through the process to create a bootable USB Ubuntu installer in Windows. Now, the steps to create a bootable USB Ubuntu installer in Windows. Step 1. Download the Rufus USB installer. The Rufus USB installer is free open source software that ultimately lets you take the Ubuntu ISO installer and create the bootable USB Ubuntu installer. Step 2. Format a USB drive that has more space on it than the size of the install file you'll be moving to it. Step 3. Navigate to where the Rufus USB installer application is located on your computer. Then, launch Rufus. Step 4. Click the device dropdown, and then select the name of the USB storage drive you just formatted. Step 5. Click the Partition Scheme and Target System Type dropdown, and then select MBR Partition Scheme for BIOS or UEFI. Step 6. Choose the File System dropdown, and then click FAT32. Step 7. Select the Cluster Size dropdown, and then click 4096 Bytes. Step 8. Enter a new name for the USB storage drive in the New Volume Label field if you want to change the name from what it is currently. Step 9. Ensure that Quick Format create a bootable disk using and create extended label and icon files have the boxes to the left of them checked under Format Options. Step 10. Select Free DOS in the drop-down to the right of Create a Bootable Disk Using. Step 11. Click the disk icon to the right of Free DOS. The Open dialog box appears. Step 12. Navigate to the location where you downloaded the Ubuntu installer. Click the ISO associated with the Ubuntu installer and then click Open. Where you previously selected Free DOS in the Format Options section, now says ISO image. A download required message may appear, prompting you to download additional SysLinux files to complete creating this file. Step 13. Click Yes to download any additional SysLinux files. Another message appears warning you that the message you selected is an ISO hybrid image. Step 14. Choose Write in ISO image mode, and then click OK. Another warning appears that all current information on your USB drive will be erased. Step 15. Click OK. Step 16. Click Start. The Rufus USB installer begins creating the bootable USB drive. The creation of the bootable USB Ubuntu installer will be complete when the green progress bar at the bottom of the Rufus application is entirely green and when the message below the progress bar says ready. Step 17. Click close when Rufus has completed creating the bootable USB Ubuntu installer and then remove the thumb drive from that computer. Step 18. Connect the USB drive to the computer you want to install Ubuntu on and then power that computer on. When booting the computer up, you should see a message somewhere on the screen that tells you to press a specific key or combination of keys to change what drive the computer boots from. Step 19. Press the required combination of keys to bring up the boot screen. Step 20. Choose to boot from the drive associated with your USB Ubuntu installer. 